Well, good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. If you've been watching TV today, you know that thousands of children walked out of school across America demanding the passage of new gun control laws as follows the mass shooting in Parkland, Florida, of course. The walkout is being hailed by a ruling class as an act of moral bravery, but of course students do not act independently, brave as they may be. They can't act independently. They're under the control of adults. In this case, by definition, they're in school. So when you hear 16-year-olds scream, hey, NRA, how many people did you kill today? You can guess about whether they know what they're saying or whether they really believe it. Some of them do, but you can be certain adults are behind it. And they are. Today's events were organized by the Women's March with the support of dozens of other groups from Michael Bloomberg's gun lobby to Planned Parenthood. Celebrities, journalists, political elites across the country cheered them on. The TV channel Nickelodeon went dark for 17 minutes to show support for, quote, kids leading the way. In New York City, a student die-in was joined by the governor of the state, Andrew Cuomo. In Baltimore, that city spent more than a hundred grand in taxpayer money to transport students to anti-gun rallies. This in a city with one of the highest murder rates in the nation, a city that cannot afford trash cans or street lights. Meanwhile, in Alexandria, Virginia, 65 students walked out of an elementary school as if kids under 10 can go anywhere by themselves. Now, whether you like the kids or like what they're saying, and you may, but you should be opposed to this because kids should not be used to advance political agendas, anyone's. Why? Because they're children. They're not old enough to have the perspective that adults do. That's why we don't let them vote or drink, or if today's protesters have their way, buy guns. And so it's wrong to exploit them, which by the way is exactly what is being done to them today, what the left is doing and has always done from Mao's Red Guards to right now. The ANC in South Africa used kids as political props in the 80s. Their cause was obviously morally defensible. Causes usually are morally defensible. But in the process, an entire generation of kids learned to believe that activism is more important than learning. And a lot of them regret it now. They were exploited. And they're being exploited here. No matter what they chant, remember that the enemy of the adults behind this isn't the NRA. It's anyone who opposes their broader agenda. That's mostly people who have no power at all. So the message from our elites is really simple. Stand against us and you're against children. And therefore, you're a monster. And if you're a monster, you deserve to be destroyed. It's a kind of moral blackmail. Igor Volsky is director of Guns Down America. He joins us tonight. Igor, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. So um, my complaint is not that people disagree with me on the Second Amendment. I think that's totally legitimate. And I think it's fair to have a debate on this. I mean, I this. probably agree with you, actually. But well, maybe you do. Maybe yeah. you do. My first problem is the use of children to make a political point. So would you, for example, I know you supported what happened today, have a problem if these kids were being driven by their teachers in buses to, a, to an NRA rally? or if they were rallying against transgender bathrooms, the March for Biology. How would you feel about that? Well, you know what I love to see? I love to see students who are out there engaging in the democratic process, students who are doing really what teachers want them to do, what teachers teach them to do, and that is take part in critical thinking, find something they believe in, and fight for it. I mean, you saw the students there's in the no days- There's no critical thinking here. There's no but critical- But you didn't answer my question, which is if they were being taken to pro-life marches or anti gay marriage marches or something you disagree well, with disagree by with teachers. I disagree with your premise. I don't think... No, but how would you feel? Would you say that's totally cool? That, that's my, I mean, my question anyway, is really In your simple. hypothetical question of yes. do I think students should be taken against their will somewhere no, no, to do no, something? No, no. If I teachers, don't. I don't care if, what it is. If teachers were abetting a march, if teachers across the country were saying to kids, let me help you get to a march that represented something that you found morally repugnant, would you be supportive on principle? Would you say this is them engaging in the democratic process? For guns, for I example. I mean, if your premise is should students be taken somewhere by teachers where they don't want to go? No. I agree My with you that shouldn't is, happen. Would you be for I'm it saying if you didn't agree with it? students want to do this. I mean, you heard the students after the shooting. Right. You heard what the students said. They believe this in their gut. And the reason is, Tucker, is because they've experienced these bullets. They've heard these bullets. They've buried their classmates. I'm That's not, why they're but doing but this. Nobody's forcing no, no, them what you're to doing, engage in this. And I'm not what saying that. Uh, kids who are under the care of a teacher who has control of their grades in life are not free agents. They can't act fully independently as you and I can because they are under the control of an authority figure. This is really simple. This is why teachers aren't allowed to have sex with students because they're in power and the kids aren't. So why are teachers allowed to direct kids toward a political ideology? It's really simple. Because the teachers are not directing students to anything. This is student-led. This is the power of this movement, of this moment, is that we're now in a situation where students are saying enough is enough from the lawmakers who don't want to change the gun laws, enough is enough from the NRA who wants to just 
push their guns everywhere agenda and for everyone agenda. We are going to push for change. That's what they're doing. That's what's really inspiring about all of this. But, I mean, if I could just make an obvious, almost technical point, which is that kids can't vote. Kids of the age of most of these students, 16-year-olds, can't vote. So they're actually not in the democratic process. And we've agreed that they shouldn't be in the democratic process. We've agreed that until they can make rational decisions, they can't vote. And by the way, you don't want them to buy guns. So if they're too young to buy guns, why should they be making my gun laws? But you know who wants them no, no, to buy guns? Just, the NRA. The NRA specifically who cares about to, the NRA. Well, I'm asking you they, what you think. And sh why should people who don't have the right to buy guns have the right to make my gun laws? It's a simple question. What's I mean, answer? they're not they are not making your gun laws. They're the lawmaking them. The, yeah, and as citizens in this country, they're allowed they're to influence citizens. the Democrats. They're, they're not citizens. They're children. They're not of 18. They're Americans, Look. but they don't have the full rights of citizenship because they're not adults. They can't drink alcohol. They, a lot of them can't drive cars. You don't want them to buy guns, and they Tucker, can't vote. My, I mean, my, is there a difference between an adult and a child? I mean, of course. Okay, then why my, don't you the acknowledge point, that then? Well, of course there's a difference. My point is they've been placed in this situation where their lives are in danger in American schools. And the reason is is because of decisions, A, hold up, that lawmakers made, and B, because of the agenda of the NRA that wants to put even more guns can into their you, classrooms. Can I ask you and a I question? think it's okay for them, and I think it's, in fact, noble for them I, to say. I get it, because you like it. But if they this. were going out, if one of their teachers, some scary alt right person was taking him to a Milo rally, you would freak Look, out, just, as you I, know. And you know it. Just admit it. And let's just be honest with each other. Rally. Look, if I, there were 50,000 kids never. going to a Milo Yiannopoulos rally right now, taken by their teachers from Fort Worth, you would say this but is the Tucker, end of America. The students aren't doing this because going to uh, Milo rallies because that's not what they believe. Oh, they it's not believe they, no, they believe in this. You believe in all these. Hold, hold up, Tucker. You they had, believe what progressive had, adults believe. Tucker, you had students bury their friends. I agree. You had students lose friends, and that happens please, all across please, the country. The theatrics pull back. No, no, it's I'm not aware of it. It Tucker. is. I don't understand why you're dismissing. I'm not in what any way dismissing. What you're saying, the, the adults told them. What, to do you, this. what you're doing is engaging in the classic moral blackmail techniques of the left, which is rather than make a rational case, you point to children and say, if you oppose what I believe, you're against no, them. No, no. Here's my this, rational case. So let me ask you a rational question. You have sent a number of tweets out recently saying the cops are racist. They kill a disproportionately high number of African Americans. Yes, yeah. I can, look, I'm not attacking you for that. I don't tweet about that. Racism plus police brutality plus guns equals Alton Sterling, Philando well, Castile, etc. Are you? Are you? I'm not attacking the, you. I'm not. I'm asking. Yeah, yeah. It's a predicate okay, to a okay, question. Go ahead, which please, is this. Go, ahead, go, ahead, go ahead. If you believe that the police have a problem with racist violence, why do you want the police to be the only people to have guns? It's a simple question. Well, I don't want the police to be the only people to have guns. I want I want to move us to a country where we where we have fewer guns and where we don't have in assault weapons and where we don't have assault weapons that can kill large would numbers of people. Would the cops have police? No, that would doesn't mean we need. No, hold on, wait. The, the cops that you've described as racist would they have assault weapons? Tucker, I'm, no, not I'm, I'm asking a sincere question. Why are you I am arguing that racism plays a role in the disproportionate murder of young black men. Right. And I don't That's know why you're not more, why you're so trusting of police you say are killing people I mean, out of animals. You know that's not what I'm saying. Look, I want to have a I want to have a We're serious conversation. Right. I'm trying to have a serious conversation. I'm you're trying. telling me I'm I mean, dismissing the children. <laughs> you are dismissing well, the children. You're laughing at you just I have four at the children. children. I'm not dismissing the children. You're dismissing me. these children. Of course I'm not. I think you are.